Well, there's this one quote that says, We Believing in the Spirit as if one needed to. People still believe too much in it. Above all, the materialists. What is needed is to believe energetically, tenaciously, passionately, with the faith that moves mountains in the body. Not in the spirit, in the body. Because the body is like where you're actually leaving. Which is a smaller metaphor for the world. Which is what you're actually leaving. So not that she gets there. She gets to like the stars. She starts to expand that way. But she, she doesn't think about the corporal too much and how language just doesn't bond it. And then, okay, so the reflexes... Oh, no, I just ripped the paper. The reflexes of life persist for some time among the guillotine. So that ought to console you since you feel the need to survive. Regarding those who are saddened by the inevitable necessity of death, let them be consoled by the promise of a future immortality. But those it does not sadden, our ideas about death are ingenuous. Some believe we do not die. That is obviously too naive. Others believe that dying is nothing, that before one lives and afterwards one no longer gives it any thought. That is no less obviously too well thought out. It seems, should one wish to judge it coldly, that it is the latter uh, I'm not going to be able to read this well enough right now. But it's basically saying those who don't fear death or does not it doesn't make them sad, those people, it's easier for them to accept the fact that there is nothing after death. The fact that it's ironic. The fact that the facts here, the facts of being alive, the real tangible facts, the fact about death is that you can only stick to the facts. Nothing is there. And you can't fear nothing you have to somehow reach into nothing. And then if she wants to go into like some sort of afterlife being regeneration or like another life, but you can't, that's, that's speculation. It's not, it's not fearlessness. That's what we want to see. We want to see like her suffer and we want to see her accept her suffering. I think that that ultimately is like her being like, oh. <laughs> I'm hallucinating. Everything's fucking nuts. But if you're talking about death, it has to be fractured. It can't be normal talk. Like, everything's fine. Because nobody really knows. Everybody knows normal talk is alive. Death is not normal talk. When we're babies, we don't know language. We just scream and make noises. But when we start to learn language, we lie. So if we learn the word food, we just say hungry, hungry, even if we're not hungry. We're just like hungry, 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 until they put a meaning to it, then the word is real. But in the beginning, to get to the truth, we have to lie. Dada, bobo, boo boo, ow, ow, ow. And then they're not hurt at all. They're just like walking around, ow, ow. And you're like, you okay? She's like, ow, ow, ow. I got you, I did, I told truth. So I think you, in order to die, you kind of have to go back Back to lying, or back to before lying. You just need a way out. That'd be like a 